go through how to make a professional looking research poster on Google Slides. So the first thing you need to do is open up the uh, Google Slides, a new one. Then you're going to go to File, Page Setup, and you can see that there's standard widescreen, widescreen. You're going to go to Custom. Now these poster boards can be many different sizes, but uh, the average poster size um, would be 40 inches by 36 inches if it's going to be displayed as like a final research. I'm going to apply that and I'm going to fit. Okay, So if I zoom out, it just looks like a normal slide, but really it's four by three feet. Um, so it's going to be large. I'm going to then add some, if I click on this side, I can show guidelines. So if I want to be aware of where I am at on the board, I can just click and drag. So if you have something specific, like if you're going to use this as a trifold, um, you're definitely want to gonna, going to want to have um, those areas already out. So if you need to have an area where you're going to fold your poster board on the trifold backing, you're going to want to have sections. You're going to want to have a 12 inch section, a 24 inch, and another 12. Okay, so you're going to want that 36 um, ish in there. Okay. Now it's not just about making it the proper size. There's a lot of things you can add to this to make your poster look better. You don't actually have to start from scratch. So I'm going to copy a poster done by a student from a previous year. So if you have an example um, of a poster for students or for someone else to use it as a template, this is what it looked like for one of my students last year. I like the size of it. It printed nicely. If you click on the text, you can see that their text size was 36. That is large. It doesn't necessarily need to be that large. It could be something smaller, like 30, um, 24. I would stay away from 14, uh, 16. Probably the smallest you want to have is 18. And then you can see that their titles had 54, and their uh, title of the whole research is 66. And that gives um, some examples of what sizing is. Now, if you want to make a template for yourself, all you do is get rid of all the text and save it as a slide. So I've created a slide that can be used as a template um, for someone who doesn't want to start from scratch. And then you can change the colors. It's really easy to change the colors on one of these Google Slides using hex codes, which will show a little bit later. So that's this is one template that could be used. And then obviously everything can be modified from there. Uh, you can add a border, so if you want a thick border around uh, your back boxes, you could. You just got to make it uh, a thicker uh, border. You can also change the colors. Um, another great thing you can do on a board like this is you can insert a chart from Google Sheets. So let's say I've made my chart to summarize my data on Google Sheets. I'm going to insert that here. Really nice thing about this um, is it will link to the spreadsheet. So let's say you end up changing something um, later on. You don't have to then change it again on your board, which is fantastic. Okay, so let's say this is my data. Um, it's linked to my chart, so if I change anything in Google Sheets, um, it will save here. So if I really want to look at that, I'm going to have to zoom in to 75 and I can see the graph here. Okay, it looks good. And that's a nice way to use um, what Google has to offer to switch from uh, program to program. Now again, this is a template that you can share, but there are lots of other templates out there. Okay, so for example, You can go to let me get rid of the guidelines, postner.com slash site posters and templates to look for customizable PowerPoint templates that can also then be used as uh, Google Slides. So if I click on that link, it will take me to all of these uh, PowerPoint templates that you can then customize based on the size that you'd like. The key thing here is that it takes a few extra steps if you want to 
edit this on Google Slides, um, but I can show that in a later video. There's lots of great options uh, to choose from. The main thing is that uh, it doesn't have to start from scratch. So you, there's lots of templates out there um, for you to use. So if this is my template, I can make any changes. I can copy this template. So I can copy that up here. I can change my colors. So let's say that you do want a customizable color scheme. You're going to go uh, to this add custom color. Now, right now, Google doesn't have a way to save these custom colors throughout all of your Google, um, like Google Docs, Google Sheets, um, Google Slides, which is unfortunate, but there's a way you can do that. So if you actually use a color swatch, so um, thank you, Ladybug's teacher files. They have a great website for ways to customize colors on your Google products. All you do here is you create your own personal swatch that you can move from program to program. This is especially necessary if you're using your own color scheme that's all customized colors so that you're not um, having to put in hex codes every time. So how you would use this is you go to Pinterest, you find some colors you would like, and then I'm just going to copy the hex code. Then I'm going to go back to my slides. And then I'm going to go to customize, so custom color. I'm going to put in that hex code. Okay, and there it is. I'm going to put OK. So I'm almost collecting colors as I go. I'm going to copy and paste them from Google Slide to Google Doc I, and just bring those colors with me. So when I go to my board, all I need to do is click on that paint can, and then I'll see my customizable colors there. Um, so if I wanted to change the background color um, to something else, like the sea foam, it's kind of busy, but this is an example of how you could use this. The key thing is you want some bold colors, uh, some things to pop, and you're looking for a color palette that makes sense for uh, who's going to read it, is it readable from a good distance away? Is it going to print um, nicely in colors? And again, contrasting colors is fine. Pick some contrasting colors. You want it to grab the attention of someone who's walking by so they are interested in reading what you have to offer. So that's a quick tutorial on how to make a professional looking slide that you will then download as a PDF to send to whoever is going to print your poster for you. So hopefully that was helpful and look forward to seeing some of those awesome posters made.